Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And uh, this morning, we got something very interesting teased to us on Twitter. And it looks like this. A sneak peek at the illustration. Guess who the next character will be. Tell us your predictions. A special outfit that can only be seen in Mauru, which is the Japanese way of saying our game name and it's this this image it's this it, it, it's this <laughs> so uh it's not a lot to go off of um you know first things i mean it looks like flames i mean some people are saying it looks like the outfits for exalted champion rimaru and guy which i mean i haven't actually looked at them uh some people are saying okay yeah it's like his spear which i mean uh, yeah, not really. Okay. Some people are saying it's that. Some people are saying it's part of his flames. Uh, the other people are saying it looks like... Uh, where's Rimuru now? Um, okay, well, he has deer antlers. Now, I don't really see that one. But the fact of the matter is we have a teaser image for the next character. Now, I personally don't expect this character to drop until probably Monday or Tuesday. But if they're teasing it now, it means that this character could could pop up, at, you know, as soon as tomorrow. Like we, I could put this video out, and then at seven p.m. we could be doing another video saying, "Oh, look who it is! Uh, it's blankety blank blank." I don't know. I don't expect a content preview until at least Sunday night for a Monday release, or a content preview on Monday for a Tuesday release, since you know Tuesday is when everything dropped for the meta originally. So we have this image. It doesn't give us a lot to go off of, but this is also not the first time that they have done this, because they have done this with the Overlord character. So going back to my video from four months ago, they gave us this little teaser image of this lightning and this dragon, and we know this ended up being Overlord Shizu. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, Overlord Shizu, hooray, where is she? She's up here. Uh, yeah. So, I don't really know about that one, but, you know, we also have this. This was the flowing cape from the one and a half anniversary trailer. And then it kind of cuts over to, yep, it kind of... I thought this was a new animation for, like, new rarity characters, not just EX, because it was, you know, animated. It ended up being the, the light masked hero, who, <laughs> you know... It was our second ever version of the Masked Hero. She's not very good now at this point. She was okay when she came out. but And then we also have this image right here. Uh, for And this ended up being the free-to-play Vengeance Albus, actually. They did a, they did a teaser for uh, a free-to-play protector who has you know not even an animation. But that's her spear, those are her horns, and the lightning bolt coming out of it right here. So they, they have done these before. There may have been a few other instances of them teasing characters directly on Twitter. And let's see, when did this come out? This came out on August 26th. And the meta started for Vengeance on uh, the 29th. Okay, so this came out three days before the meta dropped for the Masked Hero... This video came out on April 11th, and she dropped on the 17th. And then for Shizu, this video came out on January 31st. And okay, where Start of Spirit? And then Shizu came out on the first. So yeah, I mean, not a lot of time in between some of these. So I mean that. There's logic in saying that, I mean, we could get a content preview literally tonight, and whoever this mystery character is will come out tomorrow. I personally, again, don't see that happening, but who could this actually be? Who fits the theme for this meta, which is Commander Force? Uh, taking a look at it... Uh, that's Protectors, okay, sorry. Yeah, taking a look at it again in the correct batch of characters... Rimuru. Obviously, Hinata is fighting Rimuru. Well, not currently right now, but she, he was at some point. And we do need a dark DPS character. And when's the last time we had a dark Rimuru? 
Yeah, okay. It's been a hot minute. I mean, we already have New Year's Blessing Rimuru on the banner. No, he's not dark. He is certainly a good DPS character, though. Uh, Mirai, we're not getting again. Shizu? Uh, I mean, they distinctly added Shizu, two different Shizus, to the Commander Force. This Summer Shizu and the OG Fire Shizu. And we haven't had a Shizu since the Overlord collab. Uh, not that... She, I mean, she is a pretty reoccurring character throughout the game. Uh, as far as releases are concerned, she is quite popular. So the probability of her being part of this image is not zero, I would say. I would say that it's it, she's probably got a, a much more decent chance than some of the other characters here. Uh, Ainz and Alberto, no. Yom, like, uh, he's... I know he's part of the story. He hasn't really shown up at all, but they keep talking about him. Uh, Cosma, no. Diablo, like, we just got one. So, and he's buffing the category in, you know, in a way. Hinata, you know, Rimuru, Lumi. I know a lot of people are looking for a Lumi right now because obviously she's <laughs> Lumi and she's also on the Commander Force. And every Lumi that we get so far has been kind of meh. I think all the Lumis have been outpaced by Octogram Lumi, who's technically quote unquote free. And that, I don't know if that's more embarrassing or just you know, is a is a nod to just how powerful Octogram Lumi is. It could be both. Uh, I doubt it's a trainee. I doubt it's a Gazel. This man is never going to get another fucking unit. Uh, again, Yom, highly unlikely. And yeah, then we have a whole bunch of Lumis and Rimurus. So if they're going to stay with the theme of existing characters, then I would say that Shizu and Lumi are a pretty dead even split on who is this going to be, if we're going just on existing characters. But, you know, there are a number of other Holy Knights. Let me pull up a picture that I was given. Alright, so, my mod, my, sent this to me, uh, the, uh, the Saints, the other, the other Holy Knights, right? We have Hinata, we have Glenda, we have Renard. So, who uses something kind of pointy that looks kind of orangish? Well, I'm pretty sure it's Guard, and he just got his ass kicked by, well, his ear blown off by Shion. So, I mean, if they're going to fit the theme, they could, you know, work this into his spear, kind of. I don't know how realistic that is, but I don't, we didn't, you know, we didn't see what he could do. She ran away, but she's already in. He uses a sword, so, I mean, I would expect him sooner or later. Maybe not this specific unit, but maybe in the next unit. Um, uh, her, I mean, she, she's in love with Soe now, so, I mean, she could do whatever she wants. I don't, uh, she uses, what, double swords too, I think, when they were sparring? And I don't know what these two do, these three guys do. This guy's holding the sword, so sure. But this also says an original outfit, a special outfit that can only be seen, which means I really doubt they're going to give us these holy knights, you know, with Glenda and Renard being in their actual outfits, and Hinata being in her spirit armor, like, that's that's anime-focused outfits. If they're going to make a special version that can only be seen in the game, it's probably not going to be any of these guys. Not him. They would put him with his actual spirit, his actual Holy Knight outfit, which then leads me back to what, command, what existing commander units could they do, and it would be a special outfit for Lumi or a special outfit for Shizu at that point, unless they magically decide to add more characters, or, you know, or a special outfit for Rimuru. You know, one of the three characters. Uh, since we, considering just got Rimuru, I'm not really leaning into it. Especially since, again, New Year's Blessing Rimuru is a fine DPS character on this meta. Sure, he's not dark, but he's got, you know, a personal buff, a weakness buff, he's got rainbow orbs. He works, I'm using him as a DPS right now for the team. You know, Hinata's support to support <laughs> New Year's Rimuru. But if <laughs> they they could do a number of interesting things here, I don't I don't really know if they would add more characters to the commander force. And there is just a slim picking of units, and some of them are just not logical, like Trainee, like Gazel, like Yom, like these characters. No, they're they're not they're not coming. They're not coming for for whatever this is. But I could be wrong. I could be totally talking out my ass, and maybe we'll find out in eight hours or so, or we'll find out in a day in eight hours. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think this is, 
who you think this is. Also, there's this black right here. I'm just now noticing that. Oh, man. Who has black hair, huh? Who has black hair on the commander force? Uh, uh, I mean, it could not be hair. Uh, would they give us another Diablo so quickly? I mean, people have been screaming for Diablo character, and then he got his first EX, and he and he is he is pretty good. It'd be like, oh, let's double down on Diablo. Uh, you have black hair, you have black hair. Yeah, okay. Well, I think, again, that, that might not be hair, but it certainly could be hair. And if it is hair, and it's black hair, that pretty much only leaves one real choice at this point. And they added Shizu to the commander force. So, wonder why they did that. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna go under the assumption that it is Shizu, uh, and I guess we'll find out how correct or incorrect I am whenever we get the uh, content preview. But if you still think it's somebody else, somebody that is not a holy knight, you think they're gonna add someone else new to the category? Let me know in the comments. But that's it for me. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.